So Christian, if your God's so good, why is this world such a mess? When you hear non-believers, you hear critics, you hear cynics, you hear seekers, you even hear sometimes struggling Christians ask that question. If our God is so good, or if the God you claim to follow is so good, why is this world so bad? Where was your God when my wife died? Where was your God when my child was killed by a drunk driver? Where was your God in the middle of hurricanes and earthquakes? Where is your God in the middle of COVID? Where is your God? If he's so good, why is this world so bad? So I'm going to tell you what we believe, what I believe as a Christian. You may agree with it, you may not, but I will tell you what I think, what I believe. And you can read this for yourself in the Bible. I'm taking it right out of Genesis chapters 3 and 4. You see, I, I believe God made a perfect world. This world being a mess is not God's fault. God made a perfect world, put his creation, Adam and Eve, into a perfect garden. They could eat anything they wanted to. They could tend it and take care of it and could have lived there forever because they had the tree of life they could eat from. And God only told them one thing they couldn't do. Don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But you know what? He didn't put a fence around that tree. He didn't do some kind of off limits that if you reach for it, you'd get zapped by something. He just said, don't eat from it. And Satan shows up in the form of a serpent and tempts Adam and Eve. Doesn't the fruit look good and wouldn't you like it to be yours? The fruit will taste good and don't you want it? If you eat this, you can be God. And wouldn't you like to run everything yourself? The same temptations he uses for everybody in an evil and fallen world. If it feels good, do it. If you want it, take it. And you can be in charge of wherever you want to. Now, they gave in just like people today make bad choices. And you know what? When they sin, they, <laughs> boy, did they try to excuse it. When God came to talk to them about it, it, it was, well, Adam said it was Eve's fault. And Eve said it was the serpent's fault. And Adam even kind of blamed God. You know, the woman you gave me, God, you see, people still blame God for the bad world, blame everybody else, blame Satan. You know, people make bad choices. We've all made bad choices, and there are consequences. There was a hard consequence for the choices Adam and Eve made. God had to put them out of the garden as a consequence to what they had done. It wasn't punishment. It was a consequence. Don't do this, you did, and now you don't get to live here. And so we have lived in a hard and a fallen world ever since. You know, God did talk to Adam and Eve about it. In fact, when he asked them where they were, it wasn't because they were playing hide and seek and he couldn't find them. It was because God said, what happened to the relationship? We had this relationship and you've broken it and you're hiding from me and I want that relationship restored. And he promised him he would restore it, that out of the offspring of Eve someday would come someone who would destroy Satan, crush his head, would bruise his heel, there'd be some pain for him. And of course, we Christians see that as the promise of Jesus, that he would come and die on a cross for all the sins of the world. My sins, your sins, their sins, the sins of everyone yet to come. Jesus died for those, and that destroyed Satan. Because in the, the Jesus that died for our sins was raised from the dead, and in that way, God destroyed death, robbed it of its power. So my sins are forgiven because I believe in Jesus. I'll get to live forever. We Christians believe that the fallen world is not God's fault. It's our fault. Bad choices, things we should do and don't, things we shouldn't do and do, and there are consequences to those. And it makes it horrible. A fallen world full of earthquakes and natural disasters and full of sickness and full of death and full of evil. Bad choices by other people that have horrible consequences for others and horrible choices that we have sometimes made with horrible consequences. But God kept his promise. He fixed it in Jesus. And we believe that if you follow Jesus, your sins are forgiven 
and we make it a better place here. But we have an eye on the world to come when God restores this world. And once again, we eat from the tree of life and we live forever. So if you'd like to know more about that, please talk to one of the Christians you know. Contact me, comment on this, Ministry at gmail.com, and I'd love to visit with you more about the God who watched us destroy the perfect world he made, but seeks to restore it, starting with us.